Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm really annoyed that I got two misses. Like, come on. Don't you think I've had enough with the Demi Fiend? Like, why are you putting me through this? Okay, please. I hate you. Shut up, Lucifer. I did not, like, deserve to lose that. In that circumstance, sure, but, like, I got, like, two misses in a row during my crit turn, and that messed me up. Let's go. Should have got a debilitate user. I'm not even thinking. I'm just really annoyed. This phase is, like, not hard. It's really just, like... I mean, this whole fight is fine. I have nothing against a fight, but I'm really annoyed that it happened. How it did. Just how unlucky I got. I'm really like livid about it. I don't know why I have Hayataro here, by the way. True freedom. No clue. I'm honestly gonna switch him out even though I charged. Turn. Go! Oh, you just killed that fireball? Nice. Okay, please. Thank you. That. Oh, I was going to do succession. I messed up. It's fine. I do this. Will that work on you? I wonder. Crit. Oh, it did work on you. So that's something. Yes, Obub. Where are you? so good now debilitate what i was gonna do was succession i could also do savage but i think i really only want to do that when i have a concentrate active die 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 you did not die from any of that i hate you that'll do it Why did I just kill him? Did I just skip phase two and three? You guys are seeing this too, right? What what just happened?
This is where the credits play in the original. There's gotta be a, like a post credit scene or something to indicate which ending I got. I don't know what just happened with phase two and three, but I got so annoyed that I'm kind of, I, I must have surpassed them. You must just like be able to override phase two and three somehow. I'm honestly okay with that though, because I got really annoyed. So whatever. I got really annoyed with those misses. Lucifer it was good. Even the second and third phase, it was cool to get to see those phases because I never got to see them in true neutral. So it was neat to see them. I don't know how I bypa bypassed them just then. Maybe Raptor will explain. I say maybe he will. Raptor will explain probably, but that's weird. I don't know why I bypassed those, but how annoyed I got because of bad RNG, I'm fine with it. We got to see basically those two phases. But yeah, SMT5 Vengeance. We're still going to see what the super boss is, so we're not quite done, but we're basically done. What a fantastic game. Shin Megami Tensei 5. The thing is, when I finished SMT5, I still thought the game was good. I was let down with the story, I was let down with the characters, I thought the lore was good, especially in the first half, I thought the story was pretty good. But, um... I still thought the game was good. Honestly, like, the game was probably like the second best game I played back in 2021. Vengeance is an improvement in so many ways. It's got like a lot of gameplay additions that are really fun, some new demons that are really fun to use, the Magatsu rails made exploring the world really fun. Exploration was still tedious at times, back in like base SMT5, but it was a lot less annoying. Skyview mode made it a lot better, and so did Magatsu rails. And exploration in SMT5 was still good enough. I got all the Mimon in that playthrough, and I got them all in this playthrough too. The new area is really fun, much better than Chioda. So yeah, you know, gameplay, I can gush about it all day. It's basically SMT5, but better. Everything they add is just like, it's a massive improvement. Pretty great. What I do want to focus on with this review is the story, because that's the thing that's the most different. But, um, story's good. I like the story. It's, it's not like the best SMT plot out there or anything. The thing is, like, I think SMT5 Vengeance has some great moments. I think there are some, like, great hype moments in SMT5 Vengeance's story. I would say the story is better in SMT4. Personally, I liked the overall overarching story of 4 more and the premise of it a bit more. But I think SMT5 Vengeance had some hype moments. Like, the Kansu stuff and the Bethel Egypt stuff was, like, one of my favorite parts. Actually, no, my favorite part of the game is when you fought Yuzuru. And, like, Dazai came in and then, like, Kansu came in. That part was really great when Miyazu got kidnapped for the first time. That part was really good, and then also the Bethel Egypt stuff where you team up with Dazai and Ichiro. As well as the Yakumo and Nua stuff. Oh my word, the stuff at the Jizoji Temple. Actually, I think that was my favorite moment of the game. Yakumo and Yoko having that conversation. Yoko calling Yakumo like a hypocrite and stuff, and then stabbing Nua there. That was probably like my favorite part in the entire game. Overall though, the story is really well done. I like the story. The characters are also better. Um, Yuzuru is probably my favorite. I really like Tsukiyomi as well. Dazai, like, I was starting to think, like, Dazai might be pretty good, but, like, his transformation, like, still kind of is jarring. Which kind of, go that goes into, like, one of my issues with Vengeance, but Dazai was like, oh, maybe I'll like Dazai this time around. Nope. By the end of it, I kind of felt the same as I felt back in Vanilla. Um, Tayo's a lot better. I'm not really, like, the biggest fan of Tayo, but she's better. She's pretty good. She's okay. Yoko, I really like. As much as I like Yoko, they could have done more with Yoko. I didn't, like, love Yoko, but I did like her. I liked her more than Tayo. There were areas where I felt like they could have done a bit more with Yoko, but I did like her. One of the things they could have done with Yoko, what I think would have been really cool, right? I think what would have been awesome is they could have given you a goddess Yoko form, like, a little bit earlier in the story. It would have been cool if Yoko's goddess form could have joined you back in Taito. They would have had to, like, rewrite some stuff to make that happen, but that would have been an interesting angle. Maybe whoever's ending you were on or alignment you were on, you could have gotten Taito or Yoko's goddess form. That could have been an interesting angle, but they would have had to do some rewrites. So, you know. The Kadishu are really cool as villains. I like their concept. I like, the, um, I like them as a concept. The Kadishu are really nice. This is some nice credit music, by the way. 
I don't remember what it was in vanilla, but this credit music is pretty hype. The Kanishu were cool villains. I like their uh, their motivations. Um, Esheth and uh, not Esheth. Um, what's her name? Agra and Lilith are really cool. Namaz like okay. Esheth makes me want to die. As villains, they were pretty good. They were great opposing villains. But yeah, something I like about Vengeance's storyline is I like how prevalent the Vengeance theme is in it. Like, the beginning of the game happens pretty much the same, but it's fine, because I think the beginning of the SMT5 is actually, like, the better part of the game. I think it has, like, it's a pretty good setup, even back in SMT5. Like, I think the beginning setup is really cool. The second half is where it gets a lot better. Like, the stuff in uh, Shinagawa was really good. The Shinjuku stuff was really good. I kind of wish the ending wasn't, like, similar to SMT5, because the ending wasn't really that different. We're going to see this post credit scene. I hope there's a post credit scene, because otherwise, how would I know what ending it links to? Oh, yeah. Genesis from Apocalypse. This is for... Oh, okay, so yeah. Tayo wanted a world where the everything... The potential of the world's beginning will bring peace. Where once there was instability. The Empyrean and the throne of creation shall become a cradle and shall encircle all of its wonder. So basically everything reverts back to Every how it was and everyone's been, living happily, I guess. Every world that will be shall be nurtured within this infinite universe. Mm, the word infinite where like nothing changes or something? I can already assume I know what Oh hey. And there a paradise shall be born. A world where all wishes are fulfilled and none denied. Not much different from Maruki's world in P5R. I can probably predict what Yoko's is gonna be because Yoko wanted to like create a new world, but destroying, like rewriting everything. That's a pretty good ending. Hey, we can get Mastema for fusion. Battle that's probably like the final bosses. Prepare to save clear data. By loading this clear data, you'll start a new game. Plus, I will definitely want the NG plus when I try to platinum this game. Since clear data is a special type of state data used to start a new playthrough, cannot be loaded. Oh, okay, so you can't load. To answer that person's question, you can't load. I'll put it. I'm going to keep this because I'm going to continue my canon of creation file. I'm just going to save it like right here. So I'm assuming we'll need to load this to fight the super boss. Oh, yeah, like Nocturne, it has the little circles to indicate what ending you got. So I got Law Vengeance. So next to the right is probably Yoko's ending, and then those are the original four. Hmm, that's neat. We are going to load the game, but I want to talk a bit more. There's a bit more I want to say about the story and just everything in general. Actually, before I... Yeah, no, let me continue the story. So, like, I like how prevalent the Vengeance theme is. Like, especially later in the game... Like, I was not 100% with them killing Yuzuru at first, but I think it served the plot really well. It gave more stakes. The thing is, like, Vengeance's story gives you more stakes. smt 5s story, like, there didn't really feel like there were stakes in the story. It was just kind of like, oh, do this because, you know, it's a story. It's SMT5. But in Vengeance, it felt like things have more purpose and there were more stakes, especially with, like, the salt apocalypse. I liked that angle as well, the fairy village people being turned to salt. And the stuff with Mastema, that was really cool as well. But um, I like the vengeance theme because there's a lot of vengeance uh prevalent themes in it, like Yuzuru dying and Sukuyomi like wanting to team up with you, and that's why you guys are together, basically, sort of. And also because Aogami's dead, you need another proto fiend to fuse with. Um, Nua's death. The thing about Nua's death is I kind of wish it didn't happen off screen because Nua's death, like they told you about Nua's death, and you didn't really get much of that. It was just like oh. You assumed Newell was dead, and then Yakumo was just like, yeah, she's dead. Kind of wish uh, we explored that a little bit more. But, um... So Yakumo, like, wanting to fight for Nua, and Yakumo, like, is basically a hypocrite in his methods. Really, really good. Yakumo and Nua were a lot better as characters. Because they were probably my favorite characters in the original game, Yakumo and Nua, but they weren't that great. They were still relatively, like, one-dimensional. But they were still really good in this game. My favorite character in this game is probably, like, Yuzuru or something. Yuzuru and Tsukuyomi are both up there. They're both great. Um, but yeah. Yuzuru, I really like the stuff they did with him and Miyazu. Like, him 
wanting to protect Miyazu, but he can't, and, like, trying to do, like, the best he could, but it just doesn't work out the way it does. And then Yuzuru's death and everything, like, it does well for the story. I wasn't for it at first, but they, they kind of sold me on it. I still wouldn't have, like, maybe I would have liked it. I guess now Yuzuru lives, though, because, like, of this alternate reality, so. See, that's the thing, right? Like, the theme of vengeance in the game, it's weird because, like, Tile's ending isn't necessarily bad, but I'm not sure if I really like it. I'm not sure if I really like it in terms of Tile's ending. Because, like, I feel like, yeah, the vengeance stuff, like, is cool, but, like, with Tile's ending basically being, like, oh, like, there's, like, some kind of multiverse or something? I don't really understand it, but, like, things are back to the way they were, and, like, Yuzuru, in turn, is back. So, like, I don't know, like, if Tile's ending meshes well with the vengeance theme. So, you know. I don't know, that's something there. There was also something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember. Probably the weakest part of the story, I'm gonna say it, it's like, I don't like that Algami came back. And I know there's probably gonna be people who are like, oh, this is probably why they did it. And like, there, there was a reason why Algami's back instead of Tsukuyomi. But, like, I think it would have been better if Tsukuyomi was just with you till the end of the game. I can kind of understand being like, oh, it was always Aogami. He was always the one you fused with. So, of course, you finished the game with him. And there's probably some kind of mythological reason why they do that. But, like, I think, might be a hot take, I think it'd be better if Tsukuyomi just, like, finished the game with you. It would have added on to the vengeance theme. Like, Aogami dying and Tsukuyomi feeling like, like, being basically is, like, they're, like, half-brothers or something, right? Tsukuyomi and Aogami, they're, like, brothers of some kind. Like, it would have been cool if Tsukuyomi could have been fighting for Yuzuru and Aogami, and also in turn, you fight for Aogami and Cetera. Like, Aogami's death, staying dead, could have served the story well, and it would have given more purpose. So, you know. Um, I, I definitely, definitely would have liked it more if Tsukuyomi stayed. Like, if Tsukuyomi was the final fiend. Not only because I like the Nahobino's form with Tsukuyomi more, I'll be, I'll admit, I like the design more, but also I think from a narrative point, it probably would have been better, in my opinion. I think it would have worked better. Like, I would have liked it more. Like, yeah, they might have been trying to match some kind of theme or something, but like, I think it would have been better if they just kept Tsukuyomi for the rest of the game, instead of bringing back Aogami. It kind of cheapened Aogami's death a bit, because that was like an emotional scene. That's another thing. Aogami, like, was done better in this game too because Aogami and the Nahobino, you felt their bond more. Especially if you went into the demon haunt and talked with the benches. So, you know. It's just like they did better with Aogami and Nahobino, and in some departments you're probably like, oh Aogami's dead, oh no, but like because that bond was so strong and him dying there, like and the theme is like vengeance here, like vengeance, they go hard on this theme of vengeance. I just really wish they kept Sukuyomi. Maybe not keep... Well, yeah, no, maybe keep Aogami dead. So, you know, it's just like... It's, you know, it's a little unfortunate. It doesn't ruin the game by any means, but that's, like, probably the only part of the story where I was like, yeah, I don't like this. I wish they kept Tsukuyomi. Um, and then, like, the big... The thing is, like, Vengeance, right? The storyline's better. Like, you should play Vengeance, not the original. But the thing is, you miss out on so many little details. Like, I feel like there's a couple of moments of the story where, like, it kind of assumes like you played canon of creation in ways like this is still the best way to play the story and if you're only going to play the story once you should play canon of vengeance you get the big picture basically but there's still some moments that you miss out on if you haven't played canon of creation so like it's just you know it's not like the perfect story and it's like oh it clears everything up there's still a bit of drawbacks that being said, the drawbacks weren't too big where it's like, oh, you need to play Vengeance. You could play, or Vengeance, you need to play Creation and you'll be, like, set for Vengeance. You can play Vengeance without Creation, but I think mostly in, like, the third area when they start telling you stuff that happens in Chiyoda and Obdiel, like, is just transformed. You don't get to see it transform in Vengeance. Stuff like that is like, oh, like, it's a little unfortunate, but you can kind of live with it. I've seen a lot of people say, like, oh, there's so many plot holes in Vengeance because you don't see everything in creation. I don't think it's that bad. I think that's, like, blowing it out of proportion. It's obvious, sure, like, there are moments, like, there are moments that you miss out on by playing Vengeance without creation. But, like, I don't think it's a big deal. I think you still get the big picture and you still get a really engaging storyline. And the scenes you got instead in Vengeance were just overall better. So, 
while I noticed it, and in some departments, I'm like, oh, it sucks, but on the other hand, it's like, it's not that bad. You could just play Vengeance without creation, and you're fine. Like, it's not a big deal. Them telling you is better than, like, nothing happening with it. Because this game, like, Vengeance is, there's a couple of moments of, like, tell, not show. It's still a better alternative than just playing creation, be mostly because the creation story is just so weak. Like, there's no reason, uh, unless you want to play the game twice, there's no reason, reason to play creation. Just play Vengeance. It's a good story. It's so much better. It blows the original out of the water. Like, it's not even funny. Everyone was done better other than Obdio and Dazai, but since they focus on those two much more in Vengeance, yeah, yeah. Obdio and Dazai, like, they were done worse because you don't really see much of Dazai's transformation. But the thing is, I don't think they're worse than Creation. I think it's just even. Because even in Creation, even though they were focused, they still weren't that great. So, I don't know. Obdio and Dazai, yeah, they were the only ones that weren't really improved. Which is a little unfortunate because they were selling me on Dazai. Um, is there anything else I want to say? The music is really phenomenal. SMT5's music has always been good. Vengeance has new tracks, which are really fun. But yeah, overall, I really like the Vengeance storyline. I think my only, like, issues with it are... They could have done a bit more with Yoko. They did good with Yoko. I liked her. But they could have done a bit more to make me love her. So, there's that. Um... Stuff like newest death, it would have been nice to, like, see it instead of just getting told to us. Um, and then the Tsukuyomi stuff, or killing off Tsukuyomi and bringing back Aogami. Bring back Aogami kept Tsukuyomi alive. I half agree with that. I still wouldn't have really liked it if Aogami came back, but, like, if Tsukuyomi was alive, yeah, I, I agree with that. Like, Tsukuyomi being dead is unfortunate. Like, I don't really... I don't really feel like it served a purpose, to be honest. I think Yuzuru dying was enough. I didn't think they needed to kill Sugiyomi. But yeah, overall, I'm actually going on backlogged right now. What do I give SMT5 Vengeance? I probably give it like a 9 out of 10. I think a 9 out of 10 is perfect for this game. It's probably like my favorite SMT game. We're going to go on playing. We're going to go to Vengeance. Played. Four and a half stars on backlogged. Four and a half stars, which is, to me, that's like a nine out of ten. It was fun. It was just great. It, because the thing is, I loved SMT5. I still really liked SMT5. I still really like um, SMT5, all things considered, despite the story and the characters being so weak. I did still really like SMT5. So Vengeance is just like such a much better improvement. Like, it was just... It made the game, like, even better. And I already liked the game. I didn't even hate SMT5. That being said, if you didn't like SMT5, Vengeance isn't going to change your mind. Vengeance, a lot of the times, playing the game or, like, the beginning of the story, still feels like SMT5. So, if, depending on what you didn't like about SMT5, I don't think Vengeance is the type of game that'll change your mind. But if you're looking to double dip, I think Vengeance is worth the money. I had a blast with this game. This is probably going to be, like... I don't think it's going to beat out FF7 Rebirth. I think FF7 Rebirth is my game of the year. Right now, I don't like this game more than Rebirth. I like Rebirth more than Vengeance. This is a second place, though. We'll see how Metaphor does. We'll see how Visions of Mana do or does. Those four games, those are going to be my heavy hitters. I don't even need to play Visions of Mana or the other game, uh, Metaphor, to know what my like top four games are going to be. But, like, you know. Vengeance is, like, my second place right now. Like, you know, I, I love this game. It was fantastic. I enjoyed it. So, you know, I don't like it more than Rebirth, but I still really, really like Vengeance. Like, they, they they, got me with this game. I had a blast playing it. It's probably, like, my favorite SMT game. Like, mainline and maybe even in general. I might like this game more than Overclocked. Maybe a little bit. Not by much, but I might like this game more than Overclocked. Just by a smidge. If we're counting, like, every SMT game I played... It's definitely my favorite mainline, though. But yeah, let's load this up and see what's up with the super boss. Well, first I want to see what's up with Mastema because apparently we can get Mastema or something. <laughs> hey, Gustav, how's it going? Okay. Sell the sealed magazine. Need anything? <laughs> All right, chat. How do I how do I proc the super boss? Because I want to try it and see if it's something I want to like bother fight. Oh, there's new dialogue.
They just not talk to you? What? I just never talk to you. How about that? All right, someone tell me how to activate the super boss. Also, as I'm playing, I'm trying to think of other things I want to say about Vengeance's storyline. Or just in general, like complaints or positives. Gameplay, I practically have no complaints. So, you know. And even my story complaints are so minor. Oh, um, I talked about this enough, but like, I, I still, I understand alignment is a big thing in SMT. Five's the only one they don't do, like, they do a big choice. But that scene just feels so weird when you, you the player, don't get the pick. I still feel that way. But I talked about that enough, I think. What do you have to say? This is that a fantastic game, though. Definitely, like, my... Hmm. Right now, it's my number two game of the year. I don't like this game more than Rebirth. I really like Rebirth, though. Rebirth's, like, in my top ten games of all time. Rebirth is just maybe even top five. Rebirth might be a top five game for me. But like, this game is a close, it's a pretty close second. I'm trying to think if Vengeance would make my top 10 list. If it doesn't make a top 10 list, it might make like a top 20 list. Go back to Mastema. Sounds easy enough. There he is. I see the quest. Oh, Mastema's only NG+. Mm, okay. I see. So the game detects that you finished the game because you have the the file, but you like well, can't get Mastema. Need it. Take it. Let me also look at my party. Demi fiend, a grunt instead of ball. Put in Shiva. We'll keep that clear file. I'll definitely try to platinum this game. What's up here? Yeah, Vengeance is... It's been fun. It's a fun game. Fantastic. One of my favorites. At the worst, it's a top 20 game. It might be top 50. I don't even know what my top 10s are anymore. Like, I've played so many games that I need to, like, reconfigure where they are. And stuff. But Vengeance is absolutely, like, one of... It's, it's up there. Hear me. I've just finished making preparations. As it so happens, there's another duty that our Lord has entrusted me with. Allow me to inform you of it. The Lord showed me a vision of events that occurred in the world Splendid. separate from our own. In this vision, I witnessed the slaying of a transcendent Lucifer, and the world was thusly free from the system that governed it. He had been slain by you, a you from another space-time, a Nahabino of another Hear world. Me. Do you see this? It's a remnant of the Lucifer from that world. Our Lord entrusted it to me as proof of what happened, what transpired there. COC Law, Abdiel doesn't even want to kill the other Nahobino aspirants. She wants him to give up trying to take the throne, comparing that. Drastic change. Yeah, you don't see much of them. That That's a good point, because they're all, they're doing the stuff in Chiyoda with them. You don't go there in COV, they do? You don't see anything on them growing? Yeah, they they definitely get the most, like, oh, off-screen development. If you can even call it that. Yes? Next, look at this. I've been seeing a lot of people. Like, I, I started, as I was getting farther in the game, I was like, oh, what are people thinking of the Vengeance storyline? And a lot of people are, like, saying, like, oh, like, it's a much better storyline, but people are complaining about, like, you don't see much. And while I understand what they're saying, like... There's stuff that you don't really, you don't get like the, like everything to see. Like there's definitely some holes. I don't think it's like a big deal. <laughs> I think people are blowing it out of proportion. Which what else is new? <laughs> you know. A remnant of Samael who have defeat you have defeated. You soundly dispatched the Serpent King, that enemy of God, just as I hope. Your work was most splendid. I still have Samael, don't I? I didn't really use him for Demi Fiend. I did use him for Shiva though. Oh. Lord in heaven. Our Lord commanded me to destroy the four aberrations summoned by the Serpent King and to test the aberration impelled by the Serpent of Light. I trust you now understand that the Creator is no longer the Lord I serve. My own remnant as God's malice, Samael's remnant as God's poison, Lucifer's remnant as God's light. <laughs> I offer these three remnants to the adversary so that I may manifest his presence. Satan! Oh, we're gonna fight Satan? 